Hey Truth Seekers, it's Phineas. How are you doing today? It's a really miserable day in England today and so if you're in England and you're going to watch this video I'm going to try and brighten up your day or tell you how it could be brighter. Okay, what I want to talk to you today about is a realisation I have had over the years and I had something happen to me yesterday that I want to talk to you about and it was a realisation that's really important. Now, the title of this video is How to Be a Light Worker. How to Love Thy Neighbour. Guys, this is the key. The famous biblical saying from, from Jesus himself, love thy neighbour is the priority, is the ultimate mindset that you have to follow. Now, when I heard love thy neighbour, when I was a Christian child and as an adult Christian, I kind of thought, okay, just be nice to everyone and, you know, love people even though it's really hard and, you know, I'm separate, they're separate to one another and that's what Christianity teaches, which is, is for most people, which isn't, isn't correct. What you have to realise, you have to come at it from a different angle. And to be a light worker, to be a being of light, to be a higher being, you need to be living this big time. You need to realise we are all from one consciousness. You looking out of your eyes now and watching me is consciousness. I'm lucky enough to feel that quite strongly. We are all part of that one consciousness. And that one consciousness underneath all the egoic crap is one love. We are connected by conscious divine love. Now, our trials, our trials as trials, <laughs> big S on that one, our trials as human beings is to connect with that consciousness. And if we are treating people like they are separate to us, that conflicts with the consciousness. And it creates blockages in your energy system and your body, which in the end, quite frankly, can make you ill. I am a master at this. <laughs> for many years having that strong light of divinity inside of me and completely overworking overthinking which I'm still pretty good at by the way um, priorities are wrong of course you've got to work of course you've got to earn money of course you have to survive but you have to do it with that attitude of love thy neighbour which is actually love thyself, because if we're all one consciousness, if you're treating someone badly, you're treating yourself badly. So that's why it hurts you so much. So yesterday, I was in my car, and I've, I've talked about me and my car before, before I get into trouble in my car. Um, yeah, I, I, I am guilty of driving too fast. I, I do drive too fast. I'm an idiot. Um, but this time I wasn't, uh, and I was in a, a queue uh, in uh, by a traffic light, and this big top of the range Jaguar just pulled out in front of me. And he was trying to access the other side of the road, but he just, boom, in front of my car. This guy's obviously very wealthy. And I stopped and my first reaction was, you've got lots of money. Uh, I don't know how you've made your money, but you don't look like a very nice person. And so my first reaction was <laughs> to not let him in. And I was like, that was my egoic reaction. But my higher self then kicked in and thought, maybe he's had a bad day. Maybe he is a really lovely person. Or even if he isn't those two things, if people treat him kindly over and over and over again, maybe he's going to start treating people kindly. If we all act towards people that we judge with kindness, it rubs off on them. I mean, it's, it's easy to be, it's easy to, to feel guilty about not treating the poor correctly or the disabled. I mean, we all feel awful. Well, you should all be making an effort with that constantly in our communities. I need to do more. Um, but it's easy to look at the rich and the wealthy and think, well, you've got it all. I haven't got enough. And you're okay, Jack. And you're not very nice because you're a dark worker. You've made your money. You don't, give a, you don't give a shit about people. You're just in your big car. But that isn't right, guys. You don't know that guy. 
And even if he is acting badly towards you, how do you know what sort of day he's had? What sort of month he's had? If his wife is ill, if his kids are sick, if he gives loads to charity, if he, he might work at a local hospital shop, you don't know. But even if he doesn't do any of those things, act kindly, live by example. Live by example, even when it's really hard. It's not easy. I mean, you know, all 12 disciples were murdered. <laughs> That's not great for coming close to God. But they were, and Jesus was. Life isn't easy, but you have to grow that light inside of you by treating people like they are you. Spreading the light, guys. Spread the light inside of you. Now, when people are acting badly, and they are clearly acting badly, I find it very difficult to forgive people with a classic forgiveness. And so what I do is I look at most people with a form of insanity. Because their egos are out of control. They're insane, actually. Most people on this planet actually have a form of insanity. We just think we're normal. Because we have our heads and iPads and iPhones all the time and we're addicted to coffee and we overwork. We think that's normal. It's not normal. Most people are insane. They're not connected to God. If you're not connected to God, it's a form of insanity. So if you look at someone and they're acting badly, just realise they're insane. They have a form of insanity. They don't know what they're doing. Jesus said, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. It's your job to realise that great consciousness, that love, that great intelligence, which you can ask it questions, you can ask it for help, it will help you. You can access a higher intelligence and that higher intelligence will often give you those inspirations, those thoughts. But it's really important. The world needs it, guys. The, the world needs an army of light, an army of Jedis. Don't react. Don't react. Watch your emotion pass. Just let it pass and act accordingly. Act with light, act with love. You're always going to react in your mind and your body. Let it go. Come back to that conscious light. The world needs light workers. And if you're a Christian, you can read the Bible. It's, f it's full of sayings that are about that. Jesus talked a lot about that. The Buddha talked a lot about it. Most prophets talked a lot about it. That consciousness. So today, and you will have a situation where you can react to someone, just know they're performed in sanity. It's your job to act them, to act level-headed with consciousness and love. Because they are your brother or sister. They just don't know it. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Um, if you like my videos, hit like. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. I've got loads of cool stuff about all sorts of things to do with healing, detox, nutrition, spirituality, being a light worker, and that sort of thing. So do subscribe. And uh, if you've got an experience of your own, I'd love to hear about it, um, how difficult you find it, being a being of light or a higher being. It's really hard, it's not easy. Uh, share your comments, I'd love to hear from you. So have a great day, guys. I'm going to, and I will speak to you soon. Mwah.